ladies, clap your hands together and make him very welcome. It's the amazing Sean Patton. Uh, oh, that's, that was lovely. You made me feel a real, thank you. Thank you, back for yourselves. Give it back to yourselves. Give it back to yourselves. You're the real stars tonight. Thank you. I'm, I, I needed that, I'm feeling way fatter. I mean, I'm pretty, like this, like, you know, like I'm not, I'm not fooling anyone with a black t-shirt. <laughs> not as slim as I'd like to be. I figured out the problem. I, I can taste food. <laughs> so I keep eating it. Think about that. Your sense of taste, truthfully, is useless. All it does is kill you eventually. Like your other four senses keep you alive. You understand? You know what I mean? Like you see the bear, so you run. You know, you, you hear the avalanche, duck. You smell the uh, fire, run again. You feel the fire. I could have stayed with fire. I realize that for all of the, I just wanted to paint a broader spectrum. But you will never taste your way out of danger. You will never witness nor experience a moment where someone's like, man, I just... <laughs> Run! <laughs> he has a gun! <laughs> Someone has a pistol! A nine millimeter, I taste. I don't want any cocaine. Let's be clear about that right off the bat, people seem to love offering me cocaine more than I am comfortable with receiving. <laughs> I don't want any. You remember cocaine? Round of applause, who here's done cocaine? <laughs> yeah, all right. So you know no one's on cocaine right now. That applause would have come way faster. <laughs> yeah, I remember cocaine like it was 11 years ago. It's a good time, you know? That was the last time I did it. That first toot, that's a fun one. Because that's when you're like, oh, okay, so that's a heartbeat. Interesting. <laughs> I've been living my entire life with only half my heart working. That's pretty cool. What else don't I know about myself? I'll do some more. And then that second toot, that's where it really gets you. Where you're like, oh man, I'm the smartest person in this room. This is insane. Everything I say. Everything I say is so well, so out, and, th and th so poetic, and so poignant, and so goddamn funny, and so hilarious, and so punctual, and so functional. Functual, that's a word. I just made up a word, functual. It gives a shit. I make words up, because I'm the best at speaking and thinking. Oh shit, everybody in this room's trying to fuck me at the same time. Isn't that insane? <laughs> This whole room's conspiring to, to have sex with me. I might just let them do it, because I'm the best. In fact, first I'm gonna do more coke, because I'm the best at doing that. And then that, that third toot, that's the one where you could go, I'll murder the next motherfucker I see with curly hair. So don't. Two toots is all you really need. I, I had a gentleman offer me cocaine once out of nowhere, and I said, oh, no, thank you. I have a heart problem, which I don't have, but should think that would be enough to make someone unoffer you <laughs> coke. But instead, the guy goes, what? Man, fuck your heart. <laughs> That's the most coked up thing I've ever heard a human being say. By round of applause, um, who here has never been tested for a sexually transmitted disease? Okay. No one touch anyone in this fucking room. What is wrong with you? That's disgusting. It's not, it's not enjoyable. I mean, I don't know how they do it down here in Australia, but in the US where I'm from, if you're male, they will swab your urethra. I know, put a Q-tip. I know, right in there. You have to stand there holding your penis like it's a gunshot victim in a Western. Stand, stay still. The doc's gonna come pour bourbon on the bullet hole. <laughs> You have to just stay, and then the, the, they come over and just insert. I know, lady. You don't even have a penis. Here's a, and she, but don't worry, it doesn't actually hurt the penis. You don't even feel it actually in your penis. You feel it everywhere else on your body. You feel it like your ear. 
where it's supposed to be. Like, a, okay, that's where that belongs. Huh. I mean, it's far worse. It's far worse for women, though, from what I understand. I mean, I, it, it, it's more, like, f from what I gather, women have to go and get naked from the waist down and then sit in a chair with stirrups and they spread your legs wa mechanically wider than necessary. And then the doctor comes in and releases a wild meerkat in your vagina <laughs> and says, go, return on the third moon. <laughs> and how long is that in calendar days? You don't really know, you just gotta eyeball it. Like, I think that's been three moons. <laughs> and then you go back and now I'm back and the dog, oh, she has returned. Blow the horn of Mordoria. And then the meerkat comes back. Ah, what news of you, friend? What news of her innards? <laughs> oh, it's bald. You have AIDS. No big deal. <laughs> Get tested. You're the best. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your life.